right, guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a classic today. We're going to learn how to do American Girl by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Uh, so this one's got, um, you know, a lot of guitar layers in it and stuff like that. I'm not going to cover all of Mike Campbell's kind of fill, all the stuff he's doing over top of it, and kind of different voicings of the same chord and stuff. Um, a lot, Some of the parts I'll be kind of combining what they're both doing to make it sound a little bit more like the recording with just one guitar, but for a lot of the rhythm work, we're just gonna be hanging out down here, mostly like what Tom Petty does live, um, or did live. Um, and then, of course, we are gonna tackle Mike Campbell's solo there at the end, though, which is killer. So, uh, before I get into it, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so you know when I a new video. Um, and if you, if you like what I do here on YouTube, um, and you want to support what I do, uh, the best way to do it is actually join my Guitar Academy, and you'll see a link to it in the description below. And my, my Guitar Academy contains all my guitar courses, so it's just like my, my online guitar school, creating mini courses covering everything from complete beginner stuff to more advanced uh, courses in technique, improvisation, ear training, theory, and guitar tone, and you get personalized support from me as well. So please uh, click that link, get a free seven-day trial too, uh, just uh, so you can try it out and see if you like it. All right, so let's jump into the song. I'm in standard tuning here. Um, and for this intro, I kind of played through a lot of <laughs> separate guitar parts there. Um, there's a, there's like a few layer, guitar layers going on here in the intro, and I kind of just moved from one to the other, even though on the recording they're all kind of going at the same time. Because um, people don't realize I'm actually just one person. I know it's hard to believe, but that's all it is. It's just me here. So... Um, we're going to start here with this thing you first hear. It's kind of a cowboy thing. We have the, like an open D string, open G, and then the hold the third fret there on the um, B string. So you hit that chord and immediately hammer on that second fret there on the G string. So it just makes it a D power chord. So he kind of does that over and over again. So while he does that, that is slowly brought down in the mix. It keeps going, but the volume slowly gets lower and lower of this. Um, and it really kind of devolves into this going on mostly down in this range of the guitar. So it's just a fifth fret there on the A string along with the open D. So it's just a couple of Ds in unison, but when they when you do them on adjacent strings, it, each one has a slightly different timbre, has kind of thickens up the sound a little bit. He does kind of slide into that a couple times. A lot of times he just kind of sticks on it. Or he goes, slide into it if you want. Um, I think mostly he's just staying on it though. So that's what's going on uh, kind of in the lower sections for the beginning of this intro. Um, so basically this dies out and this kind of takes over. So you might want to play this like four to six times and then if you're like that guy who's taking care of the lower parts. Now Mike Campbell on top kind of does this. So um, that's just the open D string, then the seventh fret there on the G, and then the tenth fret on the high E. It's just three octaves of D. So I'm muting that B string there with the bottom of the uh, index finger. So I just hear these three notes. So he comes in his. When you first hear him, he just goes, hits it three times, then he starts the strumming. Over that. They're like,
like playing every D in the musical spectrum <laughs> at once. Uh, now, so those are kind of three things that are going on at the same time. And you hear very low note. Now, the bassist is the one that's really kind of carrying the harmony and kind of really pushing the harmony here. But if you really listen way back in the back, you can hear a guitar start playing the verse chords there. Um, so it's very low in the mix. But when you see the, them play this live, let's just preface this, uh, Tom Petty just kind of hangs on a D, a D power chord. And my camera just... So they kind of, it's a little bit simplified live. Okay, of course you have to, there's a lot of guitar layers on the original recording. All right, so that's the intro there. Then we get to the verse, which looks like this. takes us into the pre-chorus. So it's just uh, it's a cool chord progression. It's a D major chord first. So it's just a standard D. And then that goes to an E major chord. All right, and then we go to a G chord. I'll, I'll show you the kind of stuff that he adds around these chords in a second. So we go to a G chord now. We go to the open B version of a G. So not the like the four finger version where you're holding a note on the B string. Just the G major, standard G major uh, open chord that you probably learned the first week of playing with the open B string. And then, uh, I'm sorry, to an A major from there. So. These A majors, um, you're going to hear uh, whenever Tom Petty's playing, he's playing it just as an open A. Um, and whenever you hear uh, Mike Campbell playing it, he's usually has his A on top, so he can still hold this bar, but then hold this high A. So you can choose which one you want to do. I kind of switch back and forth between, between them. This is obviously a much harder chord to grab. But, so we have this. when you play the A at the end, just kind of play it twice as long. And then that leads you into the pre-chorus, uh, what I'm calling the pre-chorus anyway. So while he's playing these chords, he's kind of, kind of picking across them. He'll strum the chord. And then kind of, kind of isolate some strings. But if there's no pattern to it, so you can kind of just randomly do it. Now, when you're going into the G chord there, there's a little bass line. So it's an open E string, then second fret on the low E. Zero, two, and then into that G. When you get to the G, you can strum it. So this. Then into the A. Now once again, when you get to this A chord, if you like this, it sounds a little bit closer to the recording, or whatever. It's more of that voice, probably. So it is. leads us into the pre-chorus, looks like this. Into the chorus there. All right, so leading into, from after that A, the second time through the verse, we just go two, four on the A string. Now this isn't as loud on the recording. It almost sounds like the bassist is doing this. Uh, but live, you can, you can hear them playing that on guitar pretty prominently. So we're gonna do it here as well. So two, four on the A string. Into that D chord. So we go to a D chord. 
And then that same little bass line, zero, two on the low E into to a G. So we have this. Now there's a little descending line, which is obviously um, kind of separated between the two. Uh, I think, um, you know, Tom Petty might go. Just actually just make play the bottom notes from that G down to the second fret there on the low E to an E minor chord. Um, and then, um, yeah, Mike Campbell on top. He's, he's playing the second fret on the high E, really across the E minor chord. So you can kind of combine those. So we have this. Now if you can hybrid pick it all, it just getting this little passing chord is all it is. Second fret on the low E, second fret on the high E together. So I'm just picking the low note and just whatever finger you want to use to pick the top string. And then do the same thing, hold an E minor chord and do the same thing, picking the two outside strings. And then you can just, across the uh, E minor because they just need to that's the chord they were going for so you do hold that a little bit longer this middle this chord here just a quick little passing course with all right and then we go to an A now do the standard open position A chord Because there's a little bass line that happens that you can hear really prominently. You can play, hear it pretty well on the recording too, but um, you hear it being done on the live as well. I don't think Tom Petty's playing it. Like I said, when he's doing live stuff, and he's obviously concentrating on the vocals, which are amazing. So he's just kind of strumming. And then you probably got uh, Mike Campbell doing. So he's just basically playing that A chord and then playing the second fret of the low E and then open E and then go back to the A. Now I'm doing it with my thumb there, but if you play it like this, you can just reach over and grab your index if you, if you prefer that. You can see when I'm, when I'm when I go back to the A chord, I, I mute that low E string. And then that leads us into the chorus there. So let me just play through the, the pre-chorus for you real, real quick. All right, now from here, we get to the actual chorus of the song, which looks like this. kind of intro stuff again. So that right there is just same lead in into the G chord. A little zero two bass line. So. So then we go, after you play that, you play the note, use a little bass line that leads into the A chord. You play the second fret there by itself on the A string. Then it goes to an A major. If you want to simplify it, just a regular A major. So, it sounds fine too. Or you can do that higher voicing of it where you're doing the bar across the second fret of the D, G, and the B, and then grabbing that fifth fret on the high E. And you open A and read. So we have this. I like the sound of that one better. And then we have this. So that was a quick hammer on from you the open A string and hammer on two on the A. And that gets us into a uh, D major chord. So as soon as you do that hammer, jump over and grab a D chord and just kind of cross it. Then we're going to go to a B minor. So that's just a bar at the second fret across five strings from the high E down to the A string. So bar across those, the second fret. Third fret on the B, um, fourth fret on the G, and fourth fret there on the D. 
So we had this so far, so far um, for the... And back to a G. This one, he doesn't really have time to get the bass line in there. Back to an A. And then back to that D. You can do that hammer on again going into the D. That's really just the end of the chorus, though. All right, so all together for the chorus one more time. When it gets to that D chord, it mostly kind of goes back into. So you can go like this with uh, Mike Campbell. So it's basically just a, a, a sh very shortened version of of the intro, but it's using the same same kind of stuff there um, that we did in the intro. So you kind of repeat all the sections there back after that little intro thing goes back in the verse, back in the pre-chorus, back in the chorus. Really everything's staying the same. Like I said, there's little fills that uh, that Mike Campbell will do throughout. I'm not going to cover all that stuff. Just kind of the general harmonic foundation of the song. Um, uh, but then we've, uh, after you've repeated all those sections, we get to the bridge section here. Um, now we're going to kind of put them two together a little bit here. Um, so, because on the actual recording, we have a low part like this. All right, so that's just three on the low E string hit a few times. Kind of staccato there. And then, then you go three, four, five, and hit five again, and then go over to five on the A string. So with this. So you can kind of, with the the open space there, kind of just hit a bunch of dead notes there. And the fourth time, just go, just goes, and you get that five, just hit it a couple more times and let it ring. Now, on the recording, we have some other stuff going. We have this. So that's just kind of the same thing we did here, an octave up. So at the fifth fret there on the uh, D string, and then that goes over to the seventh fret there on the on the uh, G string, and then there's a little lick that goes pick five on the G string, hammer six, and slide up to seven. So that's kind of the high part. Now, when I see uh, Mike Campbell play this live, he actually plays the low part and then jumps up and grabs this. So we have this. So I would do it like that, especially if you just have one guitar. To do, uh, just play that low version of it, and then grab that high, that high little lick there. All right, so that's the bridge, and then we go into uh, kind of similar to the intro again. Where the, the, the bass is kind of doing a lot of the harmonic movement is where you're, you're picking up the bass, uh, but then we start hearing um, the guitars. The little rhythm guitar does all of into the bridge. I'm sorry, uh, the verse. So 
So it's just going to repeat those four chords. And then we have the outro, the solo section that kind of, you know, the song fades out during the solo. All right, so let me play Mike Campbell's solo for you real quick. It's a really fun solo because it starts off like really minimalistic. Just really simple, just kind of outlining uh, um, a couple of the chords and the progression. And then all of a sudden, he, he just shows you who's boss and just comes out with this really dazzling, like, hybrid-picked legato uh, lick that is, is really fun to play. Anyway, so let me play through it for you real quick, and then I'll show you how to play it note for note. So here we go. kind of fades out from there uh, while he's doing the second run up of those legato licks. So it's pretty cool though. So we start here just kind of outlining just uh, the kind of So that's a 15th fret there on the um, B string, then over to 14 on the high E, and then back to 15 on the B, and then go back to that 14 on the high E and hit it twice. So that's kind of the repeated phrase he does. So he does that three times, and then we have this. So that's going to be 15, that does, just going between those two notes once each. Then slide into the 14th fret there on the B, over to 12 on the high E string. So. Then repeat that exact same thing again. And now we get to uh, the, the section which is, this is hybrid picked is how he picks it. It's probably going to be easier. If you can hybrid pick, it's easier to hybrid pick. Also, there's a lot of quick cross string picking going on. So now this is a pattern to this. Gonna do each one four times. So what he's doing here is first he's gonna be doing a um, a bar across the seventh fret on the G and the B. So it is a six note pattern each time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna I'm using my middle finger to pick the notes that are on the B string. So I'm gonna pick the tenth fret there on the B, pull off to seven, and then pick the seventh fret with my pick on the G string. So that's the first half of the lick. And then we're going to do the same thing again, but this time the top note is going to be the 8th fret on the B string instead of the 10th. So we're going to pull off from 8 to 7. Remember, you're going to pick that B string with your middle finger. Pull off to 7. And then once again, pick that note on the G string with the downstroke. So we have... So that is the pattern that you want to practice. Don't worry about moving it around yet. Just practice it right here. Now don't worry about rolling, separating those notes. It's, they're meant to kind of ring together. So once you get the pattern down there, you can just then take it up two frets. So you're doing that when he gets to the E chord in the in the progression. So it starts out with it over a D. Then when he gets to the E chord, we're up here. You're basically doing this lick four times each time. So that's just pulling off 10 to 9, I'm sorry, 12 to 9 on the B, over to 9 on the G, and then pulling off 10 to 9 on the B. It's the same exact thing, two frets higher. All 
All right, now we're going to slightly change when it goes to the G. He goes up here and he's going to play uh, the bars at the 12th fret. So same lick, um, but what we're going to do is we're going to pull off 15 to 12, right? And then pick that 12 on the G. So pull it off 15 to 12 on the B, pick the 12 on the uh, G. But instead of doing 13, pull off 13 to 12, you're going to pull off 14 to 12 now. So. Same pattern, but instead of like that, it was slightly different notes there. And then we move up two more frets and do the same pattern that we did before on the first two, which is you pulling off with your middle finger there in the middle. So that 17 to 14, pull off on the B to 14 on the G, and then pulling off 15 to 14 on the B, and then picking the 14 on the G. So this one right here is the only one that's a little different. So you put them all together. Then you just repeat it. And on the repeat, it fades out. All right, so. It's a fun little lick, though. Um, uh, you can add to your arsenal there as soon as you get it down. Like I said, get the pattern down down here. And just kind of the easiest place to play it, and then work the speed up, and then just start moving it up. And we have that one little variation right there, and that's about it. All right, so um, that kind of just fades out the song. It's a it's a it's a classic. It's just a great track. Uh, pretty basic chord structures there to it, and then just a killer solo as well. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.